All right, welcome back. Twitter Files independent journalist Matt Taibbi has never been a fan of Donald Trump. Most people know that. But with Jack Smith's latest indictment of Trump, one day after the bombshell Devin Archer testimony against Joe and Hunter Biden, uh, the journalist Taibbi is calling the 2024 campaign pure chaos, tweeting out today a very interesting tweet, I thought. If you drop 76 charges on a candidate and he goes up in the polls, you might want to consider that you might be part of the problem. Makes a good point. Matt Taibbi joins me now. Hey, Matt, good to have you back on. Um, it, 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 just assess this moment uh, for us as you see it politically. Well, I think this uh, indictment, uh, which I'm just finishing reading up now, yeah. um, it's a little bit more substantive than the other three, I would say. Um, but all that aside, this is an extraordinary political moment in American history. Uh, when I started writing an article this morning, Trump had 76 charges on him. By the time I was done, he had 80 uh, counts that he was facing. And he's going up in the polls, which is an, it's just an unprecedented situation politically. Right. And I think the uh, political establishment in this country is getting all the wrong messages from this. I, I think they are, too. I, I think the biggest problem that, as you call it, the political establishment faces, is that there is so much hypocrisy uh, that we're seeing right, right before us. I mean, when you have, when you, when you go nuts over Trump and classified documents, and then they start finding classified documents all over Joe Biden's garage, and, and including some that you know he had to have stolen from a skiff decades ago in some cases, um, and, and you find them in his office. And, you know, when you get so angry um, about all of these things that the other side seems to do, uh, and when you have all this rage that's fake, and then you have this corrupt current sitting president of the United States that nobody wants to talk about it, the DOJ doesn't want to look at it, but they sure love throwing everything and the kitchen sink at former President Trump. Uh, I just, I think people are awake. And I think even if, even if you were turned off by Trump, even if you didn't like him, even if he drove you crazy, you can still see the reality of this moment. You can still see how broken this is. I, I agree. I think this is a phenomenon that's been going on since 2016. The yeah. hypocrisy, the lying, um, you know, by the political establishment, by the media. I mean, just take an example: the the absolute uh, blackout of coverage on the Devin Archer uh, situation yesterday. Yeah. A lot of people look at that and they feel like voting for Trump out of spite as a result. Uh, because they know that they're being lied to, that certain things are being ignored. They may not even like Trump. I, and I think um, that's been a contributing factor to a number of protest candidates, but he's going to be the primary beneficiary. You're right about that. Matt Taibbi, always a, an interesting conversation. We love having you on. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for having me.